Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be going over our weekly forecast from February 2nd through February 9th. Now, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content. And also make sure to share this video with your friends and family if they live in the impacted regions, which in this video happens to be the entire United States. Now, let's get right into things. Looking at last week's temperature forecast, we're going to be going over that, and then we're going to be going over briefly what actually happened and comparing the two, which hopefully should give a good idea into how accurate we were. So looking at our forecast, you can see it looked very warm outside of the southeastern United States. We had this little blue area there for Florida, Georgia, Alabama, South Carolina, North Carolina, and outside of that, it's all yellow, particularly there for Montana, Idaho, and then down through Washington and Oregon. We were expecting a little bit of more warm conditions than the surrounding regions, but overall the northern and western United States was expected to be warmer than normal. And in a countdown of five seconds, we're going to be looking at what actually happened. So five, four, three, two, one. That's what actually happened. And you can see we definitely had that area of especially warm temperatures there for Montana and North Dakota. It was a little bit further east than what I was expecting, but overall, I think this forecast did excellent. Um, we even see that colder conditions for the southeast there, so it was pretty darn accurate, I would say. But let me know in the comments what you thought of last week's forecast and how accurate it did based on what you just saw. Now, we're about to get into this week's precipitation forecast, which is going to be very exciting to take a look at. We're expecting a lot of precipitation in the eastern United States and even some severe weather. All right, so... As you can see here, we are expecting some above average precipitation there for the northwestern United States in through the northern Rockies, so states like Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, and then a bit of Utah there as well. And this is an area in this first shade where we're expecting it to not be quite noticeable, but on paper you definitely will be dealing with some above average precipitation for sure. Now, we even have a second layer of above average precipitation here, and we have three different areas of this layer here, some for coastal Oregon and Washington, then there for uh, the mountains there inland in Washington, and then the mountains in between Idaho and Montana, as well as northwestern Wyoming. All three of these regions are going to be a bit more noticeable as far as the over as far as the above average precipitation is concerned, and you definitely will notice it if you happen to live in these three pretty isolated regions. So you probably don't, but these are some areas where we're expecting some especially above average precipitation throughout these three regions. Now we're about to get into the eastern United States where we're expecting a big swath of above average precipitation. And as you can see from the south central United States through the deep south portions of the Great Lakes like Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and then up through the northeastern United States and the southeastern United States, we're all expecting slightly above average precipitation at least. And we are going to be dealing with a severe weather event that's going to extend from Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, in through the deep south states and then into the southeastern United States like Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. That's going to be going on from Tuesday in Texas, Louisiana, and then Mississippi and Arkansas. And then Wednesday is going to be more for Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida. And then we're going to be dealing with Thursday, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. So a three-day severe weather outbreak. I've made a couple videos on this. So you can go check those out, but we are going to be covering that as we head into next week, obviously. Now, we have a second layer of above-average precipitation here going on. And this is where it's going to be a bit more noticeable, like I said before. So Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia... South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, West, West Virginia, and then even Kentucky, Tennessee, areas like that as well, all in this noticeable green shade where we're expecting noticeably above average precipitation. And we even have a third shade as well right here for the mountains of Tennessee and North Carolina, and then in through Kentucky, Virginia, and West Virginia. Now let's get started with our below average precipitation here, starting out with our first area for California, Nevada, and then in through the southern four corner states like Utah and New Mexico. But again, not too noticeable in this first layer. However, we do have a second layer there for California where it is going to be a bit more noticeable. 
And then last but not least on our precipitation map, we do have a, another slightly below average precipitation region here for Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, and a bit of the upper peninsula of Michigan. And again, that's an area where it might not be too noticeable, but on paper, definitely some below average precipitation occurring within these regions. Now we're about to get into our super exciting temperature forecast where we're going to see where we could be dealing with some warmer than normal conditions and then some colder than normal conditions as well. But to start things out, we're going to be talking about our below average temperature region. And we have one of these set up here for the western United States, California, Nevada, Oregon, Washington, Idaho, as well as the mountains of Montana, and then Wyoming and down through the four corner states like Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and New Mexico, all expected to be in that slightly below average temperature region. Now, like I've said before, this first shade is not going to be too noticeable, but definitely on paper you will be below average average as far as temperatures are concerned. Now to get into your above average temperature regions, we have the entire eastern United States as well, some of the central United States as well. Uh, so from Montana through into the Midwest and then down through the south central United States, the southeastern United States, the Great Lakes, the northeastern United States, New England, all of these states are expected to be above average temperatures and this is not surprising seeing as how this year has gone so far. Definitely not surprised to see this, but again, in this first shade, might not be too noticeable, but definitely on paper, you will be above average temperatures from the 2nd through the 9th. And then we even have a second shade of orange here for portions of the upper Midwest, like Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Minnesota. And all of these regions in this second shade are going to be a little bit more noticeable than the surrounding regions, like I've stated multiple times in this video. So it's going to be a bit warmer than normal for these regions than the surrounding orange areas. Now we even have a second area of our second shade here for the mid-Atlantic and then in through some of the more central eastern United States like northern Georgia, northern Alabama, northern Mississippi, as well as portions of Tennessee, Kentucky, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, areas like that. They're all going to be in that moderately above average temperature region. And again, it's going to be more noticeable within these orange regions than the surrounding less orange regions. All right, now we're about to get into our special note segment of the video, which is going to be very exciting. We're going to be talking about a potential pretty big snowstorm, as well as our three-day severe weather outbreak. I'm going to be breaking it down day by day for you guys on that outbreak. All right, so first things first, we're going to be talking about that big winter storm that is possible, and this is going to be special note number one, and this is going to be particularly towards the end of the week, thinking maybe Thursday, Friday, Saturday time frame. Something big could be brewing there for the interior northeastern United States there. The models have been trending a little bit further south with it, but would not be surprised to see it go north as well. I'm feeling definitely in inland Pennsylvania and upstate New York, northern New Hampshire, no northern Vermont, and an interior Maine storm with this one. But definitely the chance is there for the more eastern regions and southern regions than what I just mentioned. So it's going to be interesting to track this one as we go forward again. Towards the end of next week, we are tracking some sort of coastal storm there. Now, to get into that severe weather outbreak, we're going to start with our first day of severe weather, which is going to be Tuesday and through Wednesday. And this is going to be for eastern Texas, northern Louisiana, and then portions of Mississippi and the southern regions of Arkansas. I'm going to be live streaming hopefully Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for these severe weather events. Then by the time we reach Wednesday, heading into Thursday, again, this is going to be more of a deep south event for these regions during this day. Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and then in through the panhandle of Florida as well. All of us are going to be dealing with an enhanced risk of severe weather, most likely, if not a slight risk. And then for Thursday, we're going to be dealing with Florida, Georgia, up through South Carolina, North Carolina. And I've mentioned this in a few videos as well. Would not be surprised at all to see this get stretched up into Virginia and maybe even the Delmarva. With that slight risk, at least, at least a marginal is going to stretch a little bit further up the coast. So would not be surprised to see some severe weather going up into the mid-Atlantic, but definitely North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida are going to be dealing with some very interesting severe weather uh, for this time of year for sure. 
As we wrap up this video, I would like to invite you to join our very exciting Facebook group that now has close to 1,400 members. It's very exciting. It's called Weather Freaks, and I'm going to leave a comment down below where you guys can click that link, and if I forget to do that, it will be in the description. We have a very active community there on Facebook, which is becoming very exciting, and I would like to personally invite you to join us. Now, anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Again, be sure to share it with your friends and family, and I'll see you guys in the next video.